Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Learn the art of post-publishing modifications on Godaddy's website builder. Dive into this guide to discover how to update content, optimize SEO settings and implement design changes after your website is live, ensuring it stays up to date. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So mainly guys, I will assume that you have already your website on your GoDaddy account. You have already bought your website and as you can see, this is the dashboard that you have to be at it at the moment. So make sure that you are in this dashboard and your website is good to go. Now, how can we edit our website after we actually publish it? It's very easy. So follow me through this tutorial as I guide you through it. Now, the first thing here, after you open this page, you will notice that this is like a preview of your website. So here it is my website, as you could see. And now it is still on draft. So as you may notice, it is draft. It is not completely published. So let me just publish it right, like right here by clicking on publish site. Uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward method publishing. Just a moment. And there we go. Save and publish. And now it should be good to go. So now let's just wait a little bit, a couple of seconds, and the website or our website will be online, ready to go, and everything will be like launched for people to see and to notice. So after I copy this, view site, here it is, site.lcd.godaddysite.com. So this is our website, and everything is actually here. So we can literally just scroll down and up and see everything that are in my website. Here we have like the shop and everything. So once we get here, as you would see, guys, I am now on this website. And what if let's say let's say that hmm, I forgot to really change the social media icons. I need to, to add the social media icons right here so people can actually contact me. So how can I do that after I published it? Well, basically, guys, if you want here. So let me just go here. Let me just click like that. You can still edit your website even though it is published. As you can see here, it is published, but I can still click here to edit site. And I will still be able to actually do whatever I want with it. Let's start, for example, with changing something here. So, hello, guys. I will simply click on done. Click on publish, save and publish, and after that, I will review it and preview it for you guys so we can see the differences and we can actually edit the website even if it is published. So, the publish button is not something that it is permanent, so it might take a couple of minutes as you can see. So, it might take a couple of minutes before your website is connected to the site store, so keep uh, checking back. Meanwhile, you review it here. So, here, this is the the text that I have written so simply it is being saved and now we just have to wait keep refreshing the page until it gets to the point where everything is gonna be good to go so even the colors we can change them here let me just try for example to change this text so I'm going to write here hello so here we go the same thing goes here uh, make sure to like and now it is saving, Say just, uh, changes have been saved, so do the same thing here, save and publish, wait for it until it is pub uh, finished with publishing, so it can take a moment for them to publish the actual changes, and then we shall view our site, and just like that, we will notice the changes. So here, this is the logo, we have changes from uh, hello guys to hello, here the text that we have changed to hello guys, here it is, make sure to like, we can even change the text of the button if you would like to. So I can click on this button simply, click here, change the text to subscribe, subscribe now and we can link it to a page so we can literally take them to for example https 
the points like that youtube.com or literally take them to uh, Google so let's open Google as an example so Google Maps something like that copy it paste it here and literally they will take us to Google Maps or whatever website so let's write out so here I'm going to save it as it is go to publish once more publish it choose seven publish and in case you didn't have like a domain name in GoDaddy you can still like publish the website edit it create your website for free and have like a free domain made by GoDaddy themselves so let me just refresh here it is subscribe now and they will take me to google.com as you can see right in front of us so editing the actual websites guys is not something hard at the moment it's very easy you can literally add new sections if there is something that is not fully made in here well you need to simply uh, like uh, hide it or they will hide it automatically for you for example this thing here which is for example uh, happy clients happy codes the free views coming soon in here uh, for the appointment the same thing they are coming soon so they are hiding uh, everything that it, uh, which is not completed or it is not done yet but in general it is very easy there is even more things that you can change in your website even if it is not ready to go. For example, this contact us, here we have it. And here we have the social media links. So let's try to connect or create a page. So here we they are going to take us to social manager on GoDaddy where we can add our social media by connecting it to, for example, to our Facebook account. The same goes for our Twitter account, for our Instagram account. So there is a lot of things that is going on. Let me just try to add, for example, uh, my Twitter. So Twitter, here we go twitter.com which will be redirecting me to x normally so here i am confirm and now i am on twitter.com which is being called x here i'm going to go to my profile and i'm going to click on it so here we go let's go to this website or just go to for you whatever you want to go here we go let's copy this paste it here and now we have X added automatically. If I publish that, save and publish, you will notice that it will be added here. So just wait for it until it is fully published in the uh, GoDaddy uh, page builder and it will be automatically transferred to the other website where we're gonna find it fully done, fully working. So now, as you can see, just click in here, refresh, and as you might notice so let me just go all the way down here and here it is so now if i clicked on it it will take me to my account on wix so this is very 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 useful thing to know uh, the fact that you can publish your website and still edit it later on so yeah guys that was it for today's tutorial if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will try to go through all of your questions one by one and answer them all and in case guys if I didn't find any like way to answer you in the comments make sure to know that I will answer you through the next videos that will be upcoming so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial